Hey, you may be wondering why I sound so good. That's cause, see that mic stand there? Well, it's got a nice mic on it. I've got it running into a mixer. It makes me sound good. So this audio is not dubbed in, just to let you know. But anyhow, what the really topic of this video is, is a microphone I made out of a cup of water and two wires. This is really dim. I'm gonna move it so you can see it here. Better. See if that gets yeah, there you can see it. Okay. As you can see, that's a cup of water with saran wrap on top and two wires going inside of it. And you're thinking, how can this be a microphone? Well, let's look inside. I'm using a webcam, so it's kind of hard to use this here. Alright, well, you can't really see it all that well, but the black wire runs down to the bottom of the cup where it's attached to a small plate. The red wire is attached to the diaphragm on top and I realize this can be much better built and sound a lot better. Anyhow, the red wire is attached to the diaphragm on top, goes down and floats in there above the, um, the plate. And as you may know, uh, water is a conductive material, although it's not completely conductive, it has resistance. And since it's conductive and has resistance, as the red wire moves up and down and gets closer and farther away from the plate on the bottom, the resistance changes. So if you apply a voltage through these wires, as the resistance will change, the voltage will change. So that's why you hook it up to a mixer. And the mixer and uh, modern microphones, actually not necessarily modern, just microphones, of this cable. This cable here, well, you can't really see it because it's really dark in here. But the cable is called an XLR cable. And you can press this handy button on your mixer here if you've got one. Mine's right there. It says 48 volts plus. Sometimes it'll say phantom power. And that sends 48 volts through these wires. So when I hook up this microphone, I stick these two wires in the phantom power plugs. The phantom, the, or not phantom power plugs, the XLR cable. The XLR cable has um, three holes, and with this thing, it doesn't matter what you stick it in. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter because one is ground, one is negative, and one is positive. And negative and ground can be interchanged with this, and it doesn't which matter which one is positive and negative on this thing either. So it just doesn't matter what holes you put in. But anyhow. That's it. And now you're thinking, hey, you're one of those people that puts a paper plate with tinfoil on top and says it's a microphone. Well, no, I'm not. Um, this is this is real. This works. I mean, it's very low quality. It sounds like you're from the 1900s or something when you record with it. But uh, if you want to see it, or hear it actually in action, I'm going to post a little thing on Ultimate Guitar. About my fun little project here. I'll send. I'll put a link to that in the description, so you can click it and go there and check it out. Check out the sound clip I recorded. Anyhow, yeah, that's fun, and it's really fun because I just heard that they could have a water microphone, and I was like, oh, I bet it works like this, and I put it together, and it worked like that. So yeah, anyhow, check out the link. Bye.